Okay, so today is a good day because the new wiring harness and the coil packs have arrived. So basically what that means is this misfire should be a thing of the past now. My foot! Um, I've also got a new air filter. I've also got a new air filter for the Skyline um, because the one in my car at the minute is just like bodged up. I'll, say, I'll show you. It's, we, we taped it up and stuff um, because my one before literally had holes in it where it's just falling apart. But I'm going to check the spark plugs, make sure they're good, maybe gap them down a bit. I've got a gapping tool as well. Um, get this harness and these coil packs fitted and hopefully we should have a nice running car and then I can actually get some footage on the GoPro of what it actually sounds like and what it should sound like. I'm starving so we're not going to get breakfast until we get this done. That is my motivation. I'll take you for breakfast afterwards. Okay, let's go. Ugh. First thing first, disconnect this battery because I don't want to die. Now the battery's disconnected, you got to get this sway bar off. But I want it off completely because this bolt over here is rounded and it just rattles like, and I can't tighten it up or loosen it. So at some point I'm just going to cut that off and get a nice new one, a nice shiny one. So now we have to get this piping off, get the blow off valve and the run appliance and stuff off so we can have complete access to the wiring harness and the coil packs um, and then fingers crossed that's all it will need I also I have these dials in the engine bay that really annoy me because they turn on and off all the time it is really really annoying so I might disconnect them we'll see we'll see how it feels Okay, so you don't actually have to take off the whole thing. I've just done that for personal preference. That's what I wanted to do. But now we've got access to the coil packs and the spark plugs. Access to the coil packs and the wiring harness, not spark plugs yet. Mm -hmm. um, but now we can start taking it apart. Mm -hmm. You, you're the same as me, I think I've got a Gen 2, it's a silver top, Gen 2 RB, you will have this igniter pack. Um, and this is basically another thing that the R8 Audi coil packs and loom deletes, because they come with their igniters or whatever. But yeah, don't need to worry about that. And now this, keep hold of this because you never know. Now basically what we'll do is, in here are all the old existing coil packs. And they've got 10 mil screws on them, so I have to go through, unscrew each of them, pull them out, and then stick new ones in. So this right here, obviously without the blue tape, we just put that there, is um, Nissan Skyline standard coil pack. Um, I'm just going to show you the difference that they've used. So, this sounds Skyline core pack, Audi R8 core pack. <laughs> just a slight difference. So clean, so pretty. I kind of want to smoke it. But yeah, so that well, probably sits that way. Sits in there. And makes me go fast. Because this one, all it does is burbles like a fucking Subaru, and I didn't buy a Subaru. But it's cool. Okay, so they're more or less in. I've got obviously the tube in the left to put on. 
I know um, the standard tube doesn't fit properly, so I'm going to have to modify it a tiny bit. But I had a slight problem that I run into that I used my <coughs> tiny little brain to fix. So if you look in there, that is one of the earth cables, this one just here. And these little tabs, these were the original, they like bend up and hold the original loom. Um, and I didn't have any bolts big enough because they just they would just go through the holes in the original earthing, uh, new earthing cable. And so I've used them as kind of like a spacer, or a, whatever they're called. It's not a spacer. What are they called? Nah, 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 nah. What are they called? Are they a spacer? Yeah, we'll call it a spacer. You guys know what I mean. So. Yeah, and I've done it for that one up there. So you now that's all hooked up. I need to do this one earth there that I need to connect up. So that should be nice and easy. And then, yeah, we should be good to go, I think. Once we also get the tubing on. Let's get that done for you. Okay, so, as far as I can remember, everything's hooked up. So I think it's time to try it. I'm nervous, but it should be okay. Take this bad boy off because it's just a pile of crap. <laughs> As you can see here, we just taped it up just to try and make it, you know, less suck, like uh, less leaky. This is the new one. The old one was just a shambles. That's the new one. I hope it fits. Okay. The new one's on. That looks much better. Much more like a normal car. It's getting there. I wanna I wanna get rid of all this crappy piping. I don't mind that. Alright, so let's do a proper pull in it. So I'm gonna do from like second from about two and a half thousand revs. Uh, nice straight road. Let's see what this thing can do. <laughs> it, yeah, uh, this, is, this is my reaction so far to it. I love this thing. What the, the power behind it, honestly, is incredible. Right, so let's drop it down to second. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this. Oh. I, I actually, I have no words. I'm actually lost for words. I cannot honestly summarise how quick this thing feels. Obviously, because we're quite low down in it anyway. But, but yes, please do leave a like and subscribe. All of it is much appreciated. Thank you everyone who supported us so far. It's been an incredible year. I can't wait for what 2022 is gonna bring us. Hopefully more of this. Ha, ha, ha.